show. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's over, man. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, you know, make these business moves that I've been talking about I was going to make on the, uh, on the show and, uh, you know, spend some time, you know, with my wife, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been neglecting her majorly, so, uh, I'm going to do that and, uh, live life while I still have it, man. man I know you're in here but uh, I'm still serious about that cartoon man I'll, I'll bankroll that cartoon for you if not if it's if it's not a cartoon it'll be a freaking comic book or something man but I'm, I'm, I'm I'll personally pull up, pull up the money for that shit at this time I'm working on a colored idea a, a colored version of liberal Louie it's gonna take about like uh, 30 minutes or an hour. That depends. Uh, take your time, Karaskin. No problem, man. Take your time. It's all good. This is it, man. I mean, you know, I talked about how I faked the rage when it came down to these stupid memes that I wanted to be popular and that sort of thing, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. The rage is related to the political and the social components and the capitalist components. They were genuine. <clears throat> they were 100% genuine. As a matter of fact, I was a pretty livid guy back in the, uh, uh, the conservative days, man, and and believe it or not, I, I had health problems during that time. I had a lot of health problems that, uh, uh, that, that, that were inspired or transpired because of me thinking about all these subjects, you know. And, uh, and believe it or not, uh, I found that uh, utilizing the show as a way to exert all that angst that I had uh, was comfortable and, and you know if somebody listened that's fine if they if they didn't uh, you know it's good I mean I, that it didn't really uh, I didn't really do it for the money man I mean if, if I did it for the money I would be uh, I would have I would have put out books and shit man I would have done I would have done that shit but anyway it is necessary are you kidding me it is necessary no, the show's not going to be back this fall. No, no, no. Fuck no. I am not going to fucking continue to fucking uh, have a venue for these idiots to, uh, you know, I, I don't know, to, to do whatever it is, the, whatever it is that gets them off or whatever, whatever it is that <coughs> sustains the continuity of these sons of bitches as it relates to their goddamn trolling. Well, I, 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 I'm just not, I'm not going to do it anymore. I, I'm, I'm done here, man. I uh, see we got a whole bunch of people in here, so I'll stay in here for a few more minutes. But, uh, but yeah, man, it's, it's over, man. I mean, like I said, I'll come into this room, and not to mention the people that I have talked to <clears throat> about uh, making actual businesses with. I am not joking. You know what I mean? I'm not joking about that whatsoever. I, I am sincere when I say that uh, you know I, I want to make businesses. I want to. I want us to make money, you know. And uh, 
and uh, I'm sincere when I say that, man. But I got a lot on my plate on top of all this stupid online ridiculous bullshit, man. I mean, you know, a lot of people depend on me for a lot of shit. And uh, I know it seems that uh, that I've got a lot of time on my hands, but I don't. You know what I mean? So, uh, anyway, open mic. Other than giving us three hours a day, Monday through Friday, uh, I'm looking at the prices here on Pal Talk. And, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you got the premium plan, which cost you $250 a month or $249 a month. That means over four years, Ghost spent $12,000 giving us this time of his life. And uh, I, I, I didn't do the math until today, but that is a lot of money, man. And uh, we really appreciate you doing that for us. Well, yeah, $12,000, even for a rich man, that is not a small chunk of change. That's not something you sneeze at. And I, you no, know, I, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Well, yeah, you can afford it. That's not the point. It's still twelve. <laughs> what the f hey, this is what I'm talking about, man. Unappreciative, unappreciative, man. You can give everything to everybody for free, but they don't appreciate a goddamn thing. I mean, this is the pr this is pretty much the synopsis of what people can get from this uh, little internet exercise here. All right. I mean, this is much like the Poe in America. You can give them a free house, a free car, a free job, free health care, free everything, but you know what? They're still going to bitch, and they're still going to be like, yeah, man. It's a, it's a sad fact, but a lot of people are really unappreciative about everything. Uh, but, you know, I got to agree with Mike Thomas, and, you know, I, a lot of us in here are very appreciative of everything you've done and the time, effort, and capital you have put into this. I mean, like, take me. I was a bleeding heart liberal even up until maybe, you know, January of 2011. I was like, you know, had Occupy started earlier than it had, I probably would have been in there. And a big part of what kind of changed me into the, into the, I guess, call me a capitalist, you know, into the, you know, capitalist, you know, conser not conservative, but, you know, the kind of person I am now, a big part of it was, you know, listening to your show and getting, getting the information, getting information from someone who wasn't, you know, liberally slanting it, and, you know, so I definitely appreciate, you know, everything, and don't ever think that uh, the past couple years have been for naught, you know. You know, there are those of us who are appreciative of it, but it is unfortunate there are a lot of people who aren't. Never think that you wasted your time or money. You have created a lot of capitalists out of this. appreciate all the kind words in the chat room, man, but uh, I, I don't see this as a, I mean, I, you know, I feel bad for the people that really appreciated the show and appreciated uh, what we were trying to do here that, you know, it's a little disappointing to them. But uh, it's good for me, man, because uh, believe it or not, man, I, my wife always told me that this was the culmination of it, man, you know, and and I would ask her, I would say, man, what, why, why, why are you saying this, man? There's people that are listening in. I mean, I got 30, 40,000 people listening at one time. You mean to tell me that there's nobody listening to the, to, to the ideas I'm trying to convey and, and, uh, you know, things I'm trying to do? And, uh, no. No, she said. So. I mean, uh, and and now that all this is happening, it's, it's not the first time this shit, this kind of shit has happened. So uh, I kind of gotten closer to, uh, uh, to to my wife because of that man. Because you know, even though she didn't believe what I was doing, she still stood by me. Uh, she she still you know accepted the fact that uh, you know I was in another room while she was attending to whatever she was tending to and. Um, and it just puts life into perspective, man, that, 
I don't want to end up like Breitbart and uh, all these other people that, uh, you know, they made small dents in an attempt to, uh, uh, in an attempt to try to, uh, I guess, make some kind of change or expose some sort of contradiction or expose hypocrisy. But uh, I'm, I just, I just want to live life, baby. You know what I mean? I just wanted to live life. That's all there is to it, man. So, anyway. Open my, not in my office. I'm talking about when I was outside my office work. I'm talking about when I spent time in here. You know what I mean? I've been spending a lot of time in uh, the chat room here outside of the show. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that that's time away from my wife. I mean, you know, look, uh, you know, my traditional office hours are my traditional office hours, man. But, you know, I mean, when I'm uh, when I when I'm at home at, you know, 8, 9 p.m., 3 a.m., you know, early in the morning, I mean, uh, you know, she's here. She's here now. You know what I mean? And, you know, she's I, I just feel bad that, uh, you know, I sat here and neglected her unconditional uh, companionship and, uh, and, and instead uh, being politically or not really politically but I guess romantic in another direction you know what I mean so uh, I think I'm going to spend a lot more time with her man and, uh, and not only that my, my family my family that I discussed you know what I mean so, uh, in my personal opinion, it's 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 over, man. There's there's nothing I can do, man. There's nothing I can do. I've done everything. Uh, the world is the way it is. I've got a few years left, a few good good years left in me, man. I got some pretty good years left in me. So, uh, might as well just uh, and like I said, I'll still come into the chat room, that sort of thing. But uh, it's uh, it's it, man. It's uh, I don't want to I don't want to be a, a venue for man children and. Yeah, my little pony. I mean, this is not nobody. Nobody's learned shit. Nobody's done shit. So, uh, you know, you know how it is. No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna abandon the, the chat room, man. I mean, you know, I'm gonna still come in here, and, but I'm not gonna stay in here for as much time as I have. I mean, sometimes I've stayed in here for shit. I mean, it seems like an hour, man, but, uh, yeah, it, five hours have gone by and shit, man. I've been having great conversation with a lot of the guys and females in this chat room, uh, and transsexuals, mind you. You know, Amy, Amy Daly is a, believe it or not, has been a great, uh, breath of fresh air, you know, uh, in the chat room, uh, especially, uh, when I came in here this morning feeling a little bit jaded about this whole shit. I'm still jaded about it, uh, but, uh, Great words from her, great words from a lot of people in here. So, uh, anyway, once again, man, the show's over. I'll, I'll be in here, man. You know, I'll be in here, but uh, that's it for the show, man. I mean, the, the archives will be there. If people want to still listen to them, they can, they can still listen to them. So, anyway. Seriously, thank you for the time and money and everything you put into it. And uh, sorry for adding to the forces of trolls and stuff earlier this year and whatnot. But man, thanks for everything. Yeah, man. You know, you know, for the past couple of years, and you've been sowing the seeds of capitalism. And now I guess it's just time to sit back. You know, chill, wait for the harvest, man. You know, it's it's coming. It's gonna happen. Now we just gotta wait and do our own work. Thanks for the show, Ghost. Hey, I wonder what will happen to the engineers since you are quitting the show. The engineer was a real dude, okay? Look, guys, the engineer, y'all don't worry about the engineer. The engineer is eligible for so many entitlement programs now, it's ridiculous. He's going to be making more money being unemployed than he ever would at Ghost Show. I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, at Section 8, all that stuff, all that stuff. The, the NG is set up, all right? Don't worry about the NG. Yeah.